Department for Continuing Education offers quite a lot of uh, different type of courses for the general public. We offer um, evening classes, we offer in day schools such as this one, and we offer online classes. One of the advantages of the Department of Continuing Education is it's very interdisciplinary in nature, so we have people from all kinds of different disciplines here, and we offer courses in all kinds of disciplines. And within the biological sciences, for which I'm directing, we also want to incorporate more interdisciplinarity, and that's where I see this particular uh, workshop being very useful. Right? It's an interdisciplinary workshop between biology or animal behaviour in which we offer quite a number of different courses and engineering for which we don't offer too many courses yet but potentially something we'd offer in the future. So I think this course is a very good example of the kind of thing we want to offer in the department. It's obviously a very in engaging, very um, interdisciplinary and very participatory course as well so you see the students are engaging directly, they're being involved, they just uh, don't just sit passively listening to things but they actively try to solve uh, question, try to do practical uh, things as well. So this is a very good example of the type of course that we, that, that we, we like to offer more of in the department. We are running workshops on inventive problem solving and taking ideas from biology for implementation and technology. This is an exciting subject because uh, lots of ideas are hidden in biology and could be implemented in technology and at our workshops participants enjoy practical exercises. Everyone who is interested in biology and engineering will benefit from our workshops. I found it very interesting. I learned a lot about uh, what was uh, similar between uh, humans and nature. I think this works quite quite well. I mean, people seem to be quite engaged with what they're doing and I certainly think uh, the whole pedagogy behind uh, participatory learning where the students are, where the participants are involved actively in trying to, to solve problems. It's, I think that's um, what you're saying is strengthened their the knowledge and the, and the information that they get out of the course. So I think this is a very good example of the kind of things we want to, to do more of.